Good morning, everybody. It is a beautiful day, and it is truly a great day. I won't spend much time with my opening remarks, but I do want to share my gratitude and thanks for everybody here who contributes to making the VCU School of Dentistry a truly remarkable place for learning and caring. I want to thank the families for sharing these wonderful students with us who today are going to uh, transition to the professional side of dentistry. Your support for each of these students has been unwavering in truly remarkable times. I want to thank, go ahead, give yourselves applause, you deserve it. I want to thank each and every faculty member and staff in the School of Dentistry. I've been in many dental schools. And this year at VCU has shown me that this faculty and the staff we have are among the most caring and thoughtful faculty that any dean could and should be proud of sharing every day with. And the students are certainly grateful and they have grown so much with the support of those faculty and staff. Thank you all. And of course, I want to thank you, the class of 2023. As I said to you the other night, you're a remarkable class. The grace with which you challenged or met the challenges that we have faced since 2020 is truly laudable. The work you've accomplished, the tone you've set in the school, the culture you've helped develop, and the individual and group successes that you share today truly deserve our highest applause. Thank you very much for making the School of Dentistry what it is today. Let's begin by asking you all to stand for the singing of the national anthem. I'd like to introduce your classmate and fellow graduating dental student, Ronnie Kellick, who will sing the national anthem. Come on, Ronnie, don't be shy now. Say, can you see by the dawn's early light what so proudly we hail at the twilight's last gleaming? Whose broad stripes and bright stars? Through the perilous fight, all the ramparts we watched were so gallantly streaming, and the rockets' red glare, the bombs bursting in air, gave proof through the night that our flag was still there. Oh, say does that star-spangled banner yet wave o'er the land and of the free and the home of the brave. Thank you. Thank you, Ronnie. It's really great that we have multiple talents inside this dental school.
Folks, for those of you who have not met me before, I'm Lyndon Cooper, and I'm fortunate to have had the opportunity to serve this past year as the Dean of the School of Dentistry at Virginia Commonwealth University during your senior year, and I hope for many other senior years to come. I am pleased to welcome, as I've said, the graduates, parents, spouses, family, friends, faculty, and staff to your special occasion. Although I wasn't here to walk with you during COVID, I'm really proud of how you managed the changes in your dental education. Lectures that went viral, taking open book exams from home, coming into a plastic covered wool wine lab based on uneven bench assignments. And when I arrived on an interview, shower curtains that had no showers. Even bench assignments and the list goes on. We really do applaud your tenacity and preservation through it all. We love you for it. The School of Dentistry, its leadership, the faculty and staff and students are all here to celebrate your fortitude, your resilience, and your commitment throughout all of this to joining this wonderful profession. I want you all to join me in this formal and serious occasion welcoming our graduates to the professional careers and to recognize their earnest commitment to serving their communities. And I encourage you to celebrate with us this happy and memorable occasion. Thank you all again for joining us. Today, we have with us some distinguished guests, several of whom I'd like to introduce. I would first like to recognize one of the VCU School of Dentistry's most distinguished alum alumni, a graduate from our dental school in 2001 is our own Senator, S Senator Scott Pillion. Doc Dr. Pillion also has, a dis has distinguished himself as both a pediatric dentist and the senator serving Southwest Virginia. During his pediatric dental residency, he was deployed with the 42nd Infantry Division to Tikrit, Iraq in Operation Iraqi Freedom in further service to our nation. Senator Pillion was elected to represent the 40th Senatorial District in 2019, and he is our profession's leading advocate. Scott, thank you. He shares our pride in the School of Dentistry, and he shares our ambition to be among the best dental schools in the nation, providing the best care for all Virginians. Thank you for joining us today. I'm also pleased to introduce another honored guest, and that is Dr. Cindy Sutherland. Dr. Sir Sutherland is the current Virginia Dental Association president. She earned her bachelor's degree from the College of William and Mary and later her dental degree from our dental school. I'd also like to tell you that she is the proud parent of one of our dental students. Dr. Southern has been a member of the VDA since her dental school graduation. Everyone in the room in this front should take note. And throughout the years, she served in multiple leadership positions, including the VDA treasurer, and VDA director representing Southwestern Virginia Dental Society. She continues to practice in her hometown of Pulaski, Virginia. At this time, I'd like to invite our friend, Dr. Southern, to the podium. Thank you for that introduction, and good morning, Dean Cooper, esteemed faculty, distinguished guests, graduates, family, and friends. What an exciting day. In three years, I'll be sitting out there watching my daughter be hooded by this same school. And I'm so proud of her and I'm proud of each of you. I know today is a monumental day in your lives as you officially become dental professionals. I am honored to stand before you and offer some words of advice as you embark on this new chapter. I asked a couple of the graduates what they'd like to hear me say today. They said something funny, so here it is. What do you call a bear with no teeth? A gummy bear. Okay. All right, what award did the dentist win? A plaque. 
What does the dentist call an x-ray? Tooth, exactly, toothpicks. And what did the dentist say to the golfer? You have a hole in one. <laughs> so obviously I'm not a comedian. <laughs> First and foremost, I want to congratulate each and every one of you for reaching this milestone. You have worked tirelessly for years to arrive at this moment. It is a testament of your dedication, perseverance, and hard work. Your late night studying, endless hours doing lab work, and clinic requirements are over. Graduates, many years ago, I was sitting where you are. I was so excited to begin my career, but I was also nervous. Who would help me if I couldn't get my band to stay on, if the crown didn't seat, or my patient didn't get numb? So many concerns were running through my mind. The good news, there was no more waiting for the instructor to allow me to give local anesthetic, to okay my prep, to okay my final restoration. Standing here 23 years later, I can tell you, you will figure it out. You have been trained by an excellent school and wonderful faculty. Today is not the end of the road, it is the beginning. There are a few things I would like to share with you that I believe will help you succeed. First, always put your patients first. They are the reason we are here. They should be at the center of everything we do. Our job is to provide the highest quality dental care and help improve the oral health of our patients. We must strive to build strong relationships with them, listen to their concerns, and be compassionate and empathetic in our approach. Remember, a happy patient is a loyal patient. Secondly, be a lifelong learner. Dentistry is an ever-evolving field, and we must stay current with the latest advancements, techniques, and technologies. It is crucial to attend continuing education courses, participate in professional organizations, and seek mentorship from experienced dentists. The American Dental Association and the Virginia Dental Association, or association in whatever state you land, is available to help you throughout your career. I'm a believer and a supporter of organized dentistry. Their advocacy efforts protect our profession and the citizens of the Commonwealth and America. As for mentorship, despite your career path, find a mentor to help guide you through your career. Someone you can talk to about difficult cases, someone you can vent to and ask advice, someone you can call quickly to give you guidance if you find yourself in a tough situation. Dentistry can be tough at times, but it can be just as rewarding. There is a saying, if you love what you do, then you'll never work a day in your life. I hope you love the work you have done and will do. Thirdly, communicate effectively. Good communication is the foundation of any successful relationship. This is especially true in dentistry. We must effectively communicate with our patients, team members, and other healthcare professionals. We must also be able to listen actively with empathy. Effective communication helps build trust, foster relationships, and ultimately leads to better outcomes for our patients. Fourthly, embrace technology. Dentistry is rapidly advancing, and technology is playing an increasingly important role in our profession. From digital impressions and radiography to CAD CAM and 3D printing, none of these were there when I was in dental school. There are many technologies that can enhance the quality and efficiency of our work. We must be willing to embrace these technologies and integrate them into our practices to provide the best possible care for our patients. Finally, take care of yourself. Dentistry can be physically and emotionally draining. It is essential, essential to prioritize your own health and well-being. Find your calm, happy place outside of the office and seek support from your families, friends, and colleagues when needed. In conclusion, I want to remind you that our profession is a noble one and we have the opportunity to make a significant impact on the lives of our patients. We can alleviate pain, restore function, and create smiles. So go forward with confidence, passion, and dedication to provide the best possible care for your patients and continue to grow and learn as professionals. Congratulations, class of 2023. Best of luck in your future endeavors. You are the future of our profession. There is no limit to what you can accomplish, and I look forward to all the amazing things to come from the VCU School of Dentistry Class of 2023. I'm honored to welcome you to the profession that I love, dentistry. Thank you very much, Dr. Southern, and we will see you back here in three short years. Well, dental hygiene is a very important component of the oral health care team. And I'm extremely proud that this dental school, not like all dental schools, 
has a very robust and active dental hygiene program. Many of our hygienists take on outstanding roles, and I would like to introduce to you today um, the president of the Virginia Dental Hygiene Association, Ms. Heather Tuthill. She's one of ours, folks. De Heather is an assistant professor in the Department of General Practice Division of Dental Hygiene and a 2011 graduate of our program, but as well a graduate of the Masters of Public Health program in the School of Medicine. She is service-oriented and serves many roles within the American Dental Hygienist Association. She's a trustee for the Greater Richmond Dental Hygienist Component Virginia Delegate and currently the president of the Virginia Dental Hygienist Association. Her service to the community includes volunteering at the Mechanicsville Christian Free Dental Clinic, being an advisor on the Alumni Advisory Committee of the Virginia Delta Chapter of ODU, of the Phi Beta, or the Pi Beta Phi, sorry, fraternity, and is an elementary school classroom volunteer parent in her spare time and coach to her son's Little League t-ball team. Heather, I'm glad you've taken just a couple minutes out between all those activities, and please join us at the podium. Good morning, and thank you, Dr. Cooper, for the introduction and for the work that you do for our school and for our students. Thank you to the administration for supporting the VCU Dental Hygiene Program. Thank you to the faculty for preparing these students to conquer our professions. Thank you, parents, friends, and guests, for being the cheerleaders, the shoulders that they have cried on, for answering the phones when they need you the most during their hard times during this program. Because of you, they have thrived in the programs and they are here today. Finally, Thank you, class of 2023, for being the future of our profession and committing to improving the oral health and lives of the individuals in the Commonwealth of Virginia. I am grateful to speak to you all today, not only as president of the VDHA, but also a faculty member and proud alumna. I am grateful to see within the class of 2023, two of our very own dental hygiene graduates graduating today with a DDS. I am most grateful for the privilege to be the Senior Dental Hygiene Clinical Coordinator sharing in the celebration of our students. A dental hygienist is to a dentist, a nurse is to a doctor. A collaborative partnership that provides cohesive and comprehensive care. Together, we are strong and powerful leaders making a difference in the lives of our patients. We take responsibility for seeing the potential in our patients and their oral health goals, and we have the courage to develop that potential. You are brave professionals who will take on daring leaderships in your practices. According to the Oxford Dictionary, collaboration is the action of working with someone to produce or create something. Class of 2023, let's reflect on your professional partnerships in your programs as they have collaborated to produce the best graduates in the state of Virginia. In your first year of dental hygiene school, you completed several courses along the dental students and participated in an interprofessional collaboration course. You had the opportunity to collaborate with each other, learning about head and neck and periodontology. In your second year, you collaborated with second year dental students who were learning to scale teeth for the first time. You assisted in creating their foundation of preventing gum disease for our patients. In the same year, you collaborated with third year dental students and student nurse practitioners on an interprofessional simulation exercise. Your partnership shined as you joined together and impressed them with your knowledge of treating the patient as a whole person. Another opportunity for your partnership is collaborating with third and fourth year dental students to observe the initial or examination visit. They assisted in creating your foundation of completing a new patient exam by learning how to observe suspicious areas, 
explore margins of restorations, and enhance your skills in reading radiographs. Your faculty have collaborated on the student experience to enhance our patient experience. The most proud collaboration opportunity we have for you that no other school in Virginia has to offer, or on very many states in my collaboration with other state presidents, is the dental hygiene checks. It took daring leadership amongst your class members to break down the silos and embrace the suck. Because we all heard how much that sucked for both classes. But you guys were vulnerable. You collaborated on treatment plans together with your attending dentist and your dental hygiene faculty for the best outcomes of your patients. Together, you took responsibility for seeing their potential and helping them achieve their oral health goals. You had the courage to develop that potential. You all have set the example for the current and future practitioners with how both of your classes work together to optimize your education and prepare yourselves for the real world of healthcare. There is no other dental school I have learned of that provides this level of cooperative care between dental and dental hygiene students. This is an invaluable experience that will prepare you more than you know for whatever level of practice you choose. You will always be stronger together than apart. And in the words of Abraham Lincoln, a house divided against itself cannot stand. So now that you are joining us as oral health professionals, here are a few ways I recommend that you continue to collaborate with each other. One, model and encourage each other with empathy and self-compassion. You experienced burnout in school and our profession has an increase in experiencing burnout since the pandemic. The workforce survey here in Virginia says that the Virginia hygienist workforce has increased and the dental workforce has decreased. A lot of offices are looking for hygienists. Offices are, are overflowing with patients as doctors are retiring and the public trust again, trust again that it is safe to return to the dental office. Collaborate on these days that as providers you want to take off. Listen to each other and value each other's mental health. Not only will it increase the production of your office in the long run, you will be a better provider for it. Remember that saying, you can't drink from an empty cup. Two, never stop learning. Doctors, as Dr. Southern had discussed about taking your CE and going to those courses, share that knowledge with your hygienist. We want to know about the new changes of protocols. We want to know about the business side of dentistry and the technologies that you've learned in these study clubs. This includes those of you going into specialty practices. Partner with both the general practice and the dental hygienist. This benefits the patients as they will understand the expectations of going to your offices and hearing the same verbiage about the procedures they will have because they've already heard it from their dental hygienist. Hygienist, don't stop asking to go to CE or to professional association conferences. By investing in each other, you increase your knowledge and keep up to date and you get to grow personally each and every year to be the best oral health provider you can be for your patients, your practice, and your communities. Collaborate and encourage each other to be lifelong learners. Three, make contributions and take those risks. Join your professional organizations and contribute to the future of our professions. What will dentistry look like 10 years from now? In the past 10 years that I've been a member here with VDHA, we've advocated alongside the VDA for a pregnancy dental benefit, Medicaid expansion, the adult benefit in Medicaid, remote supervision of a dental hygienist, Medicaid dental reimbursement rate, all to increase equitable access to comprehensive health care that includes oral health. Our associations must continue to collaborate with each other and with other professions on behalf of comprehensive health care in the Commonwealth. And finally, practice gratitude and celebrate milestones and victories. One of the best pieces of advice I was given when I became president was to keep a journal of my meetings and write down all my big victories. In your practices, collaborate with each other and share in celebrating not only the milestones of your patient, but also as you as providers. Start a meeting with everyone, sharing what they are grateful for and lean into that joy. You have already practiced this with your birthday celebrations, pregnancy announcements, and weddings. Yesterday, we celebrated several of you during the Senior Awards, and today, we get to celebrate this memorable milestone with you. 
As you enter the real world, my wish for you is that you continue to collaborate with each other as you join our professional associations. Together, we are the oral health providers in the state of Virginia. Together, our goal is to provide cohesive and comprehensive care. Together, we are stronger and more powerful, making a difference in the lives of our patients and each other. Class of 2023, together, you are the future of our professions. Together, you are the best practitioners VCU has produced. And you are proof that we are better together. Congratulations and welcome to our professions. Let's just take one more minute to acknowledge and thank our distinguished guests, Scott, Cindy, Heather, and the institutions and organizations you represent that support dentistry. Thank you all very much for being with us today. Let's now come to the part of the ceremony that the faculty particularly enjoy and that is hearing from our student leaders as they assess the past and look forward to the future. Today, speaking for the dental hygiene class of 2023 will be its president, Kelly Vaughn, and following her and speaking for the dental class of 2023 is its president, Joshua McCoy. At this time, I'd like to invite Kelly to the stage. Good morning and thank you to our fellow graduates, faculty and staff, and family and friends for being here today to support us as we transition into clinicians and doctors. Today marks an important milestone for every person in this room, and frankly one I'm sure many of us thought would never come. Whether it is the graduate about to embark on their newfound career the supporting parent, spouse, or family member that made today possible, or our faculty that made a lasting impression on each and every one of us, we are extremely grateful for this day and this moment. Two years ago, the anticipation of hygiene school had already created butterflies in my stomach. After seeking advice from a few fellow VCU hygiene graduates, Every single one of them said my classmates would either be my best friends or my biggest competitor, and to remain cautious. This struck me as odd because I thought the competition was finally over, considering we were all accepted into the same program by completing the same requirements. Looking back on that moment, I cannot imagine thinking for one second that these women could be anything but a shoulder to cry on, an ear to vent to, or the biggest cheerleaders of encouragement, faith, and perseverance. Simply saying these women does not do them justice because each and every one of us is unique and brought something to the table during this momentous time of our lives. Aristotle once quoted, the whole is more than the sum of its parts, reminding us that what one can do, many of us can do better, which was certainly the case for our senior class. I would feel remiss not to mention something about each person because not only did we graduate six first-generation college graduates, we managed we managed to use our individual strengths to accomplish what felt like the impossible at times. From the first generation U.S. multilingual immigrant to the 4.0 GPA academic boss to the sorority girl who managed to earn an associate's degree before even graduating high school. 
to our calligraphy queen whose talent is truly unmatched. To our optimistic Aussie dog mom who could find the bright side of any situation. To our yoga and fitness gurus who kept us in our best mind, body, and spirits. To the girl who overcame nerve damage in her hand junior year and still managed to complete clinical assessments on time. To our infamous seamstress who helped keep us financially afloat through many scrub cap sales. To the jack of all trades, master of none, mom of the class, who always shared needed wisdom from her many career changes. <laughs> to our bilingual cultural arts queen, who served as a board member for the Chinese Student Association at VCU. To our class secretary, who was always in the know, keeping us organized and abreast to the many changes of the program. And finally, to the single mom, who perhaps I am most proud of, for her strength and ability to overcome even the hardest of challenges. To each of these women, I am proud to stand beside you today and in the future years as clinicians promoting oral health. As a class, we had to overcome the same challenges many students before us had to, such as all night studying, miles and miles of overnight rotation travels, and finding the perfect patients to complete clinical assessments on. And of course, the dreaded walk up from a lot. But our class also had to come overcome other challenges that made some of us question our ability to keep going. During our time in hygiene school, we have persevered through the transition and movement of classmates, change in program directors, and the loss of multiple immediate family members. While these obstacles are never easy, we could not have gotten through them without the love and support of each other. Again, our class truly became a family, certainly not a competitor. Speaking of family, we have much gratitude to share with our families who supported us along the way and even served as late night guinea pigs for those EOE, IOE practice runs from our couches in preparation for clinic. We appreciate your positivity when nothing seemed to be going our way the financial support for the endless unexpected costs of hygiene school that I'm sure are still on some IOUs. And for all those who helped with child pickups, drop-offs, and overnight rotation stays, it certainly takes a village. We are forever grateful for your support and for believing in us until the very end. Lastly, we would like to take a moment and thank our faculty for shaping us into the best professional clinicians possible. We will admit there were times when we questioned your intentions and many requirements. <laughs> From the multi-paragraph clinical notes on oral hygiene instructions that the dental students are probably still trying to understand to the endless bare ankle checks during patient care that slowly seemed to push us over the edge. However, we never fell, and it is certainly because of the wisdom of the faculty. It is this wisdom, persistence, and student dedication that helped our class achieve a 100% pass rate on clinical boards, and currently a 100% pass rate on the national board exam with a few students remaining. Fingers crossed. Each instructor's unique perspective and experiences helped us along our journey when we needed a shoulder to cry on, tough love, or even a gentle kick out of the nest. We feel extremely blessed to graduate from VCU and have had the privilege of serving hundreds of patients when many graduates from other hygiene programs only see 20 to 30 if they are lucky. Graduating post-pandemic and during a hygiene shortage, we certainly feel the pressures and excitement of serving our communities, remaining lifelong learners, and staying hopeful for the continued expansion of our scope of practice to serve rural communities without access to care. To my fellow graduates, 
recall the hygiene code of ethical principles and values that have been ingrained in us during our didactic and clinical practices. Remember, take the time for oral cancer screenings and blood pressure readings. Don't skim over OHI, and always serve as your patient's advocate during appointments for which some of them are the most vulnerable of times. By staying true to these ethical values, there is no doubt in my mind that everyone will accomplish their career goals and uphold the prestigious reputation of the VCU School of Dentistry. Thank you again for your time and support today. Congratulations, class of 2023. We did it. As I just mentioned, let's welcome Josh McCoy, representing the DDS class of 2023. Thank you, Dean Cooper. <laughs> good morning, good morning. How are we all feeling today? Feeling pretty good, right? <laughs> well, I hope everybody else is feeling pretty good, but as you can see, I know my class is feeling great right now. So just from this angle I have right here, I wish you all could see the view that I have. This is such a beautiful group of people right here, and thank God for you all every single day. So as Dean Cooper mentioned, I'm Josh McCoy. I'm the president of the class of 2023. And first and foremost, I'd like to thank God for he's the source of all my strength. I'd like to thank, I'd like to thank the deans, faculty, staff for all of your support and imparting your wisdom over these few years. I'd like to thank my parents, Roy and Costello McCoy for always keeping me in your prayers and always being there for me and, and giving me a little financial help every, every so often. <laughs> And Alexis, I thank you for always being there with me. You've always kept me encouraged. And I'm starting to get emotional here. Um, you've been there with me every step of the way, even before I even applied to dental school. And so here you are now, and a couple of years from now, you're gonna be gra graduating from dental school too. I'm proud of you, and I love us both. <laughs> to my siblings, my cousins, my aunts and uncles, nieces and nephews, thank you all for always being in my corner. I love every single one of you, and thank you all for coming out of today. To the Harris family, Mr. Harris, Mrs. Harris, and Aaliyah, thank you all for coming as well. And of course, you already know you have a special place in my heart too. And lastly, I'd like to thank Dr. Goolsby. I don't know if she's able to tune in on Zoom or on YouTube or not, but Dr. Goolsby, I just wanna thank you for all that you do and all that you've done for me. I hope you know that you've been a tremendous person I've always been able to rely on. And ultimately, you're a big reason as to why I came to VCU. And I thank God for even coming here in the first place. At this time, I'm talking to the class of 2023. I'd like to address my class and everybody else can listen, I guess, but right here, I'm just talking to y'all. So those of you that know me really well know that I often like to daydream, stare off into space and just really think about super random things, whether it's about what color a mirror is or whether I'm talking about why North Carolina barbecue is just so good. I don't know, but lately I've been doing the same thing, but more so just reminiscing about what all we've been through, where we've gone, and what we're going to next. So, back in July of 2019, I appeared before you for the first time to petition for your trust as I originally ran for class president. And in that speech, the main thing I was really wanting to get across is that I wanted us all to come together and move and act as one unit. And at the end of the day, I believe that we actually did that. And I think we did it really well. Of course, there are many successful concerted efforts that help bring us together, but there are also a lot of different worries and struggles and obstacles that we had to endure that also brought us together really well. And of course, you know, a hundred times by now, we've already been told that the days are long and the years are short. At this very moment, I don't know if those years felt short. They feel pretty long to me at this moment. <laughs> but nevertheless, throughout these times, I've always felt that this class was special. And obviously I'm biased in saying that, but I believe it's a fact. Like, I think it's something that can be refuted. And whenever you look at our class, you see there's absolutely nothing ordinary about us whatsoever. Uh, just a couple reminders. You know, 
back during D1 year, we had to endure that panic that we went through in Woolwein when at the time we only had a couple faculty members that could support us in clinic. And of course, while it was just only short duration of that being the case, it fixed later on, but we were, we were really freaking out for a little bit there. Um, and let's also not forget the, those brand new sparkly new clinics that we were promised on the eighth and ninth floors of that brand new building. <laughs> yeah, uh, well, so much for that. But I hear, <laughs> I hear there's a new dental school on the way, so here's to the future. And when it comes to our class, um, we have to address the elephant in the room, and that's the COVID-19 pandemic. This is something that impacted the entire world, impacted every single one of us. But when it comes to the VCU School of Dentistry, it impacted the class of 2023 the most. When we sit here and really think about it, we're the actually only class that actually was able to see a fully functional pre-COVID-19 School of Dentistry in a post-COVID-19 School of Dentistry. And we were also that class that was labeled as the ones that brought COVID back after a spring break cruise trip. <laughs> so, of course it wasn't us, I, I promise you it wasn't us, but you know, it's, you might as well point the blame on first year students, that's what everybody else does. But even still, it was a scary time, it was a very wild time, and really, nobody knew anything. The students, faculty, staff, deans, administration, nobody knew anything, even the CDC didn't know anything. And it was, it was actually pretty wild, and when we sit here and think about it, we still had to endure. We still had to learn dentistry, and we still had to get it all done at the end of the day. And what we had to do is, of course, we learned dentistry through Zoom in the comfort of our own homes with our scrub tops on and our pajama bottoms too. But even with COVID still being an issue, it caused us to miss out on many clinical rotations in our first and second years and things that we were really worried that would slow us down and impede our access to our graduation today. And like I said, at the end of the day, we really had to perform because COVID didn't care about what we had to do. At the end of the day, the world still needed dentists and we got here. And the thing about that is we still, despite all that we've gone through, we're still a class that was able to achieve those same high boards passing rates that BC has always been known for. Yeah, we did that. So even along the way, we were able to also see three different deans of the School of Dentistry. We were able to endure a pros Oski, which was a doozy. And we also got through our 8 a.m. sign-ins with our names being highlighted. Yeah, we got through that too. And so all in all, there were many things that of course we could worry about and things that we had to get over. But when you sit here and think about all that we've done and what we've gone through, you start to think about the sort of people that's in this class. And you start looking at other classes and the question is, what other class has people that are patenting their own inventions? What other class has people that are actually working other jobs? What class do you have somebody that is starting, maintaining, and flourishing and expanding their own baking business into a storefront while also being married with, with three beautiful children while also serving as our class secretary for all four years and maintaining extraordinary grades and being able to, <laughs> and matching into her residency program of choice. I kid you not, we have our own superwoman, our own Wonder Woman in our class. Jessica McBride, this is for you. And we also know that if it wasn't for her week out of glance emails every single week, we wouldn't be here right now. We know that. But despite it all, we were still engaged, heavily engaged in award-winning research, outstanding community service and engagement, high school and undergraduate mentorship, and with whatever time we had left, we still ran, we hiked, we biked, we kayaked, we bench pressed, we brunched, we traveled, and we salsa danced our way here right now. And even with inflation presenting another issue of ours, we even had to find new ways to help pay for our senior gala. Thus, you had the inception of our first annual ping pong tournament, and which was a great success. Congratulations to Yusuf. <laughs> And I'd be remiss if I didn't thank Nadja Luter, Lena Liao, and Stuart Hintz. Y'all got it done, and I really appreciate all of your efforts, and the class does as well. So when you think about it, you're thinking about all that we've done and all that we've achieved and how complex this class is, and you really sit here and think about it even more. We had to be so complex that it actually took two deans of admissions to make our class, Dr. Gottlieb and Dr. Healy, whenever you think back. And also we analyze our class a little bit more. You really see that we're an incredibly resilient, hardworking, high achieving, and just an extraordinarily beautiful class. 
And honestly, I really do thank God for all of you choosing me to represent and to fight for you these past four years. It has been a true honor and a privilege that I'm something, that's something I'm ever so grateful for. If I had to go back and do it all over again, I would still do it the same. I wouldn't change a single thing. I thank God for all of you. So, with this being the last time that I'm addressing you all as a class, there are just a few things I want to impart with you. As you go forth in your respective careers, it's going to be very easy to find yourself worried about the different uncertainty, the uneasiness, and just the different fears that may pop up here and there. But there's two things, two simple things I want you to remember. One, don't worry. And two, it's yours. That new job you're applying for, don't worry, it's yours. That new and higher position that you're going to be petitioning for eventually later on in life, don't worry, that's also going to be yours. And all those multiple practices that you're also hoping to have eventually, don't worry, all of those are yours too. Just know that wherever it is in your life that you're praying to be, there's no need to worry about any of it because it's already yours. So don't let doubt creep in, don't let it fester, don't let it cripple you, and don't let it control you. Why? Because you've already done it all. You've already done the impossible. You've already gotten to this point right here, right now. You came here, you conquered dental school, and you got it done. So the thing is, it doesn't stop here. The work is just beginning. And of course, you know, God didn't bring us this far just to leave us here. So, and all that you do, do it well. And all that you hope for, pray and know that it's yours. Speak, and it shall be. And in closing, I'm just going to give you a little poem by I.J. Bartlett. It's a poem that my father would often recite from memory ever since I was a little child. There's a town called Don't You Worry on the banks of the river Smile, where the cheer up and be happy blossoms sweetly all the while, where the never grumble flower blooms beside the fragrant try, and the never give up and patience point their faces to the sky. In the valley of contentment and the province of I will, you will find this lovely city at the foot of No Fret Hill. There are thoroughfares delightful in this very charming town, and on every hand are shade trees named the very seldom frown. Rustic benches quite enticing you'll find scattered here and there, and to each a vine is clinging called the frequent earnest prayer. Everybody there is happy and is singing all the while in the town of Don't You Worry on the banks of River Smile. Thank you. Stay smooth. Thank you, Kelly and Josh, for those encouraging words to your classmates and our guests. While we recognize the outstanding academic accomplishments and separate award ceremony yesterday, we want to take this moment to honor our senior dental student that has attained the highest scholastic average for their four years of study. This year, that student will receive the following awards. The first award is the Alpha Omega Award, which recognizes the highest academic achievement. The second award is the Heron Lyons Scholarship Award, which was established by a former dean, Dr. Harry Lyons. Both awards are given to the graduating student with the highest GPA. This year's recipient is Quinny Fan. Please come up on stage to accept your award. Congratulations again. Now, the VCU School of Dentistry has a tradition of solemn pledges or oaths taken by the dental and dental hygiene graduates. In taking this pledge, one commits themselves to a life of service to one's patients. The dental hygiene class of 2023 took the oath last year when they began providing clinical care. Today, they will retake this oath, which will be administered by Mrs. Leticia McLeod assistant professor in our dental hygiene program. 
For your convenience, the oath is found inside the front cover of your program. Leticia, please come forward. Will the dental hygiene class of 2023 please stand? Turn to the inside cover of your program and read along with me. In my practice as a dental hygienist, I affirm my personal and professional commitment to improve the oral health of the public, to advance the art and science of dental hygiene, and to promote high standards of quality care. I pledge continually to improve my professional knowledge and skills, to render a full measure of service to each patient entrusted to my care, and to uphold the highest standards of professional competence and personal conduct in the interest of the dental hygiene profession and the public it serves. Congratulations, you may now be seated. Thank you. The dental pledge, which is about to be administered, was originally developed here at VCU by Dr. Robert Strauss and several dental students. Subsequently, this pledge has been adopted nationally within the dental profession as the dentist pledge. I hope that in years to come, you will all take pride and remember this pledge's origin is VCU. I would now like to ask Dr. Byerson, Assistant Professor in the Department of General Practice and Vice President of the Peter B. Ramsey Dental Society to administer the Dentist Pledge to the VCU Dental Graduates of 2023. Dr. Byerson. Good morning. Will the Doctor of Dental Surgery graduating class of 2023 rise as we prepare to recite the Dentist Pledge? Now, before we get started, I wanted to share this with you. Nine years ago, I stood where you stand now, excited to take on the world while feeling like I did not know everything. And truth be told, I didn't. But VCU gave me everything I needed as I entered into this beautiful profession. I am here to confirm VCU has done the exact same for you. So take a moment to breathe, relax, and engrave this pledge in your heart. By doing so, you can do no wrong. The pledge can be found on the inside cover of the program, and please join me as we read the pledge in unison. I, and then state your name, Christina Dion Byerson, as a member of the dental profession, will keep this pledge and these stipulations. I understand and accept that my primary responsibility is to my patients and I shall dedicate myself to render, to the best of my ability, the highest standard of oral health care and to maintain a relationship of respect and confidence. Therefore, let each come to me safe in the knowledge that their total health and well-being are my first considerations. I shall accept the responsibility that as a professional, my competence rests on continuing the attainment of knowledge and skills in the arts and sciences of dentistry. I acknowledge my obligation to support and sustain the honor and integrity of the profession and to conduct myself in all endeavors such that I will merit the respect of patients, colleagues, and my community. I further commit myself to the betterment of my community for the benefit of all of society. I shall faithfully observe the principles of ethics and code of professional conduct set forth by the profession. All this I pledge with, I'm sorry, excuse me. Can we repeat that last part? <laughs> Thank you. All this I pledge with pride in my commitment to the profession and the public which it serves. Thank you so much and congratulations. Thank you, Dr. Byerson. We now come to what many consider the highlight of today's celebration. Although, maybe it's time for lunch and we should just, no, no, we'll, we'll continue. 
At this time, I would like to ask Ms. Marin Matsky, Director of the Dental Hygiene Program, to announce the names of the dental hygiene graduates. And following her, I will ask each of our practice group leaders to present the names of our dental graduates. As the graduates come forward, the dental hygiene graduates will receive a pin and a stole from Ms. Heather Tuthill, recognizing their entrance into the profession. This year, the dental graduates will come onto the stage to be hooded by Drs. Mary Beckley and Dr. Ellen Byrne as family and friends bear witness to their responsibility as dental professionals. Now, please take your programs and flip to the back cover. These are the general group practice groups and graduates listed in each group, so you will be able to find your way along this process. Please find your graduates' names so you'll know when they'll be presented on stage. Feel free to take pictures, to scream loudly, to clap, to cry, but for safety reasons, please keep the aisles passable and be considerate not to block the view of others in the audience. We'd all like to see. We emphasize that no one should approach the stage as graduates line up. We have professional photographers who will also capture their special moments on stage. After these are all presented, the dental hygiene graduates will sign a scroll to attest to the pledge they have taken. Ms. Emily Ellis and Ms. Kimberly Lynn Tagnuan will assist the dental hygiene graduates in their scroll and their gift. Dr. Michael Healy, Senior Associate Dean of Student Services, will assist the dental graduates with their scroll and will present a gift as they exit the stage to my right. Please welcome Ms. Mansky to the podium. Congratulations. Thank you, Thank you Dr. Cooper. I, I have the need to say a few words to my students before they come up to the stage, so bear with me. Um, greetings, families, friends, graduates, colleagues, and distinguished guests. Congratulations, my graduates, our graduates. You have completed a very rigorous program, and you're now ready for the real world. You have chosen that profession where you'll serve as a very important member of a provider team, both dental and interprofessionally. It'll be your goal to help make sure that your patients achieve optimum oral health and overall health. You started your educational journey here at VCU two years ago. However, for me, it was just our first year together. You heartily, if not worriedly, welcomed me here in the fall. I've been so honored to be your director, to watch you gain confidence and be part of your journey. We as faculty work with you as you achieve your goals for fall and spring semesters competencies, skill assessments, capstones, cases, exams, passing your boards, while I became proficient at navigating my way to the clinics of Lyons, DB1, and Douglas is a whole new maze for me. I finally got it down, I think. So what you will now experience as you are pinned and graduate will be a new chapter in your lives. You will leave here, wait for your license to arrive, then begin your very first position as a dental hygienist. It'll be different, it'll be at times challenging, but let me assure you that it will also be very rewarding. As a dental hygienist myself that graduated 40 years ago this May, I still love my profession. This is an experience that you'll take alone. It'll be shared with colleagues, family, and friends. Many who have shared in your journey are here today to celebrate with you your wonderful accomplishments. On behalf of our dental hygiene faculty, I would like to offer a special thank you to each and every one of you we may have been there providing the education, but you were there providing the support that made it all possible. Thank you. I would also like to offer congratulations to our dental graduates that are here today. I've worked alongside you in clinic and observed your steadfast resolve to complete your requirements. You are a wonderful group of students whom I know will make wonderful providers. You will also embark on a new challenge. Dentistry is a team sport. Your achievements and the achievements of our dental hygiene graduates will be united. Today we learn together and tomorrow we practice together. Providing the care that so many people will need will require this. While fall seems ages away now, for me it feels like it was just yesterday, I will miss each and every one of you. Although no longer together at school, we will continue to be together but now as colleagues. We may not be with you there in body, but believe me, we will be there with you in spirit. You will continue to hear us in your practice. Are you sitting ergonomically? What is the nutritional status of that patient? Are those instruments sharp? And of course, where are the landmarks for local anesthesia? 
Our goal is to graduate future leaders in dental hygiene to carry on the legacy of the Virginia Commonwealth University School of Dentistry. I challenge you to carry that legacy with the following, love, passion, and the relentless pursuit of excellence that continues to transform and mark you as the future leaders of our profession. Your pins along with your stoles, designed just this year for you, so you can proudly wear your dental purple colors, mean you have achieved yourselves to another level, that of a graduate of this program, because you are soon to be alumni. Go forward, be leaderly, and use my hashtag, hashtag own your profession. Thank you and congratulations. It is now my pleasure to present you the dental hygiene graduates of the class of 2023. Will the graduates please rise, enter the aisle, and when introduced, come forward to receive your stole and pin. Please remember to sign the scroll upon exiting the stage. Marissa Danielle Balducci, summa cum laude. Destiny Ayana Coles. <laughs> Hannah Victoria Coley. Marshall Aaron Dixon. <laughs> Katerina Caroline Jones. Ann McKinney. <laughs> Sarah Liu Peng. Delorius Perkins. <laughs> Logan Hunter Rainey. Samantha Richards, Michelle Richardson. <laughs> Brianna Patricia C. Mary Clarence Trinidad Truce.
Kelly Keeser Vaughn. Thank you very much. Next, I'm thrilled to invite Dr. Una Logren to the podium. You know, in addition to training dentists, we have a remarkable history of training great scientists. And part of that is our master's degree program. And now we'd like to recognize three master's degree candidates and their mentors. Dr. Rolgren? Good morning, everybody, and congratulations to everybody in the room. It truly takes a village to get these people here today, so well done to you all. While most of today's graduates will go out and take up clinical positions and deliver really good oral health care, they can't do it without something important, and that's the excellent research that's required to keep advances in clinical practice. So at the VCU School of Dentistry, we don't just train great clinicians, we do train great scientists too. Our scientists are developing new and better diagnostics and treatments for periodontal disease, for head and neck cancer and they're advancing our knowledge in how our oral health contributes to our overall health. I'm really delighted to present to you the first ever graduates of the Masters in Microbiology and Immunology Oral Biology track today. Please rise and make your way to the stage with your mentors. First up, I'd like you to recognize Alexis Bakanmoju and her mentor, Dr. Bristol. <laughs> Alexis conducted research on how stromal interactions play a role in the quest for human papillomavirus-specific cancer therapeutics. The human papillomavirus, or HPV, as you may know it, is one of the major causes of oropharyngeal cancer. Congratulations, Alexis. Next up, I'd like us to recognize Alexandra Galina and her mentor, Dr. Lewis. <laughs> Alexandra conducted her thesis on probing, probing the Porphyromonas gingivalis nitrosative stress response network. So Porphyromonas gingivalis, also known as PG, is one of the major, pa major pathogens in periodontal disease. Congratulations, Alexandra. And finally, I'd like us to recognize Colette Kramer, who's graduating with a master's in interdisciplinary science. Her mentor is Dr. Harada, and her work focused on targeting head and neck squamous cell carcinomas with senolytic drugs. And we hope that in the future, these drugs will prevent cancers from occurring. Congratulations, Colette. At this moment, 
it's my pleasure to present to you the Doctor of Dental Surgery graduates of the class of 2023. Is that really all you got? I would now like to invite Dr. Robert Reinhardt to present the dental graduates of 2023 in Group Practice 21. Would the graduates in Group 1 please rise along with their GP leader and come forward. Now remember, you can find the names of the group number on the back cover of the program so you can be ready to get these pictures. Okay, hey, Robert, sir. good to see you. You'll introduce the next slide. Yes, sir. Yes. yes. So welcome everyone. Uh, let's celebrate our brilliant, gifted graduates. <laughs> All right. So our first graduate, uh, this is a new, I, I haven't seen this before. This is impromptu, so odd and even. I'm going to uh, go ahead and go with my list. So be patient with me. So our first doctor is Nadia Abdul Gafoor. Dr. Mohammed Michel Almuteri. Dr. Latifa Mansur Alfadli. <laughs> All right. Yeah. Sure. Yeah. Dr. Mary Eid Dehdel. Dr. Manar Darkezanli. <laughs> right. Dr. Jessica Enriquez Bajeda. Dr. Grace or Dr. Grace Irene Gillen. Yeah. Right. Dr. Edward Lear Griffin. <laughs> right, congratulations. Dr. Jonathan Kirschbloom. Congratulations. 
Dr. Anna Jane Lorberg. Congratulations. <laughs> Dr. Jane Nguyen. <laughs> Congratulations. Dr. Quinny Fan. Our next group, group two, is going to be introduced by Lewis. Come on. We're waiting for you. Dr. Formica is going to do the duties for group two. Come on up, Lewis. Thank you. It is my distinct honor and privilege to introduce the graduates of our group. I'm so excited to hear about your future successes. Congratulations. Dr. Ava Arabshahi. Dr. Laura Choke Poblete. Dr. Noor Nazar Hassawi. <laughs> Dr. Ali Hussein. Dr. Min Quinn. <laughs> Dr. Ronnie Kalik. Dr. Naja Pauline Luter.
Dr. Malik Omar Lowe. Dr. Travis Harold Luke. Dr. Nicole Oriana Manfrini. Dr. Adriana Martinez. Dr. Joshua Adriel McCoy. Dr. Faraz Nasser Sapti. Dr. Jalen Sykes. I'd now like to introduce our department chair and leader of group three, Dr. Terry Imbry. Thank you, Dr. Formica. Uh, it's my honor and distinct privilege to introduce the uh, graduating students from Group 3. But before I begin, has anyone seen Thomas Vu? See him? No, okay. All right. Dr. Marshall David Adzima. Dr. Michael Barrett. <laughs> Dr. Vivian Buya.
Dr. Leila Christina Shaul. Dr. Sean Finley. <laughs> Dr. Christina Bosale Gordon. Dr. Jeffrey Sungjoon Kim. <laughs> Dr. Haney McHale. Dr. Dana Eden Nara. Dr. Vu Ta. <laughs> Dr. Jakara Nashel Thomas. Congratulations. Dr. Lynn Tran. Dr. Elizabeth Margaret Trunnell. <laughs> I'd like to introduce Dr. Peter Antonopoulos from Group 4. morning. Well, seagulls no longer transformed into eagles. I'm proud to announce GP4. Dr. Jana Ali.
Come on. Dr. Malak Ashkanani. Dr. Manuel Capriles. Thank you, Doc. Dr. Tiffany Duong. Dr. John Hazencope. We got some. We got some talent in GP4. Do <laughs> Dr. Stuart Davis Hens. Dr. L Lina Liao. Dr. Lindsay Putnam. Dr. Joaquin Reyes. Dr. Alex Schneider. <laughs> Dr. Dylan Thomas.
Okay, no. Dr. Caleb Widener. And now I'd like to introduce Dr. Kyle Vick to introduce GP5. Proud of all of you, and I wish you the best. Dr. M Dr. Michal Granum Tiab. Alonzi. Dr. Kerry Balington. Dr. Kerry Bailey, I'm sorry. Dr. Carrington Bailey. Dr. Adriana Carpio Castaneda. Dr. Melissa Hart. Dr. Maru Nada. Dr. Sarah Naja. Dr. Priyal Patel. Dr. Priyal Patel. Dr. Manuel Perez. Thank <laughs> you. 
Dr. Asmita Padel. Dr. Ashley Putti Adam. <laughs> Dr. Chandler Reed. Dr. Amanda Tran. Dr. Bethany Walpin. Now introducing Kevin Noel for GP6. It's my privilege to introduce the fun-loving colleagues from Group 6. Dr. Youssef Mohamed Abdullah. Dr. Dr. Ryan Gaffner. Dr. Nam Ha. Dr. Marco Illich. Congratulations. <laughs> Dr. Liana Ismakova.
Congratulations. A lot of hard work for you. <laughs> Dr. Michelle Ma. Congrats for all the hard work. Dr. Samantha Rose. <laughs> oh, congratulations. <laughs> Dr. Joanna Scott. Whoa! <laughs> Congratulations, Dr. Colin Smith. <laughs> Dr. Andrew Tran. Dr. Richard Trung. <laughs> Thanks for making it so fun. Thank you. <laughs> Dr. Christelle Diocampo Will. <laughs> Congratulations. It's now my pleasure to introduce Dr. Scheherazade Orenduff from Group 7. I might just say that. <laughs> Hi, everybody. Congratulations, Group 7. You did it. <laughs> Dr. Lulia Albitar Cashlan. Dr. Justin Neal Cundiff. Congrats. You did it. You did it. Yay. I'm so proud of you. Dr. Florence Tuang Dang Tran.
Dr. Sophie Fazel. <laughs> Dr. Krishna Kiran Garadia. Dr. Mariam Fayez Hanna. <laughs> Great job. Superwoman, Dr. Jessica Jones McBride. <laughs> to switch because the board. <laughs> Dr. Sarah Catherine Stolen. No? Did y'all switch it on me? Yeah. Did y'all switch it on me? <laughs> Who switched it? <laughs> Dr. Vlad Shukruta. <laughs> it doesn't matter, it was right and it was wrong. <laughs> Congrats. Dr. Pooja Tolani. Dr. Carter Wesley Wright. and Dr. Gina Zrick. Next is Dr. Aus Abdul Majid with Group Eight. <laughs> yes. 
So congratulations to all of you. GP8, you are great. I'll miss you a lot and I wish you all the best. So let's start with Dr. Daryl Boyce the second. Dr. Matthew Brewer. <laughs> Dr. Nicole Chambers. Dr. Alex Lam. <laughs> Dr. Eva Miller. Dr. Lucy Miller. <laughs> Dr. Ardalan Nabizadeh. Dr. Brinson Rents. Dr. Ann Rowe. Dr. Brett Siegel.
دكتور صالح سمادي Dr. Mark Stevens. Dr. Joe Volant. You know, that was so much fun and there was so much going on. I think we're going to just do the whole thing over again. The faculty of the School of Dentistry are proud of our graduates and what they've accomplished. We wish you every success in your future endeavors, wherever your professional careers and personal lives will lead you. At this time, the faculty would like to rise and recognize you for your accomplishments. In addition, now I'd like to ask the graduates to rise and turn toward your family, your friends, and the faculty. These are the people who got you here. Now is the time to show your appreciation. And now, if I would ask you to do just one more thing for me all, the time has come for you to do one more thing before we close, and that is to move your tassels to the left. Let me thank you all again for a wonderful morning, a great ceremony, and I just have a few last minute instructions as we prepare to leave the recessional. The faculty on stage are gonna lead the recessional. The faculty marshals will then dismiss the faculty from the theater, followed by the graduate groups, group by group in order. Once you have exited the theater, the family and friends were, are welcome to gather outside where there's plenty of space to continue with our celebration. I want to once again, on behalf of the faculty, staff, students, and friends, congratulations. Wish you all much success, happiness, and please come visit. We will be here looking for you to join us again. Thank you all very much. Have a wonderful day. And happy Mother's Day.